Philadelphia police have what appears to be a complicated investigation on their hands. A seven year old girl was discovered by her mother in the basement of her only home with a bag over her head. As we await a briefing from police momentarily, our Joe Holden has been working on this story all day and he's live with what we know right now, Joe. Jess, well, we are waiting for special victims unit officers and the captain here to give us some insight on the type of investigation they are working. Very early on, this was described to be really a toss up. Was this a crime? Was this perhaps an accident? That remains to be seen. However, right now we know, according to our sources in SVU, that this seven year old has suffered significant brain damage. What began as a call for a stolen car escalated to officers frantically trying to save the life of a seven year old child and the cops were giving the little girl CPR. This after police say the girl was located by her mother in the basement of this only home. A plastic bag had been covering her head. Our main focus is on the seven year old. The investigation into how the seven year old had a plastic bag over her head. We know early this morning a call went out to 911. The mother of the seven year old reported her car had been taken by her 18 year old son. The car crashed three blocks away and police say the driver took off. In the process of producing registration information for the car, police say the unidentified woman found her daughter unresponsive in the basement. Police say she reacted tearing the bag from around the seven year old's head and rushed outside. An officer then began CPR. She was a real happy little girl. Neighbors are puzzled, not knowing what to make of what happened. They used to play together. She used to play right in here and it's just sad. I know that mother's going through a lot. Now back live, lots of questions do remain. First, have police uh, been able to apprehend that 18 year old who they say allegedly stole this car where all of this began? And what is the latest on the seven year old who remains in the hospital? A news conference is set to get underway any moment. Of course, keep it with CBS3 Eyewitness, Eyewitness News for the very latest on this developing story. We're live outside SVU tonight. Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Joe, thank you for that.